Hi guys. Uh, so my art journal vlogger day thingy. Uh, it's July the 8th. <coughs> um, I do have other videos and I know that I've, they've got a little bit out of order but um, the other videos are on my laptop rendering because I did them on my big camera and this is a, a vlog from my phone. So those take a little longer to upload but I have so far managed to vlog every day which is great. Um, so I'm sitting out here doing what I normally do on a Monday morning which is sitting in the garden catching up on my YouTube videos that I haven't been able to watch during the week. I've stopped watching the YouTube videos every day because what I found was I'd get really into it and the next thing I know it would be five o'clock and I hadn't done anything that day so now what I do is I, re I go through my subscribe list um, and I keep the links for anything else I want to watch and depending on how many of them there is I might sit and watch them while I'm still while I'm planning on Mondays um, so at the moment I've got my laptop is rendering video um, and I've been sitting here working in my planner getting my week organized um, <clears throat> I've got a bit um, Courtney Brooke you are such an enabler she's got me into my filofax again um, I've always had a file of facts. Um, I say always. When I started work, when I left university and I started work and I had a full-time job, um, because I'm too lazy to copy things out from one diary to the next, I had a file of facts because it was just easier. You didn't have to keep copying out your address book, you didn't have to keep copying over phone numbers, it was just, you know, you could chuck away what wasn't relevant anymore and you didn't need to carry a separate notebook. So, um, I kept a uh, Filofax for work, um, not like a, a pretty decorative one like the Filofax community does, but just um, just a Filofax with my bits and pieces in and uh, the occasional doodle because I was bored. Uh, and I kept my meeting notes, basically anything for work. When I left corporate and I went into the college, I started using the 18 month, um, not 18 month, um, academic year ones from September to July. Um, and they got a bit more decorated. I, I, you know, I'd use bookmarks and tabs and pretty up my tabs and that kind of thing. But I never really got into making it pretty or anything or colour coding or, you know, some people get really into it. Um, and that's just not me. I spend more time prettying it up than organising myself if I do that. So I use it purely for organising. Um, back in uh, January 2008, um, my Filofax had fallen apart it was literally held together with gaffer tape because it was so old um, and you know the, the rings didn't work properly anymore and you couldn't just flip through because they didn't it, the paper caught on them and it was a, it was a mess um, but I'd spent a fortune on it originally, it was a proper leather one and I, I just couldn't part with it <clears throat> and then one day it just fell apart, literally <laughs> Um, and I promised myself that year that for my birthday, when I got my birthday money, I was going to splash out and get myself a new Filofax because I didn't need any of the inserts or anything. I already had all those. Uh, I just needed a new cover. So I thought, right, I'll get a new cover with the New Year's diary and everything else. Um, and that's what I was going to do. And then a couple of days before my birthday, I got the news I was being made redundant from the college. Um, and I just could not... I looked at the prices and I just could not bring myself to spend that kind of money on something that I didn't feel I was going to use now that I wasn't stuck to a timetable or anything and I didn't need to organise my day. Um, but of course being self-employed you do have things you need to organise and I started, you know, I kept things in my art journal and my notebooks and my planner. I have a, a I, I've mentioned this before, I, a month to view planner that I used to print out out of my diary online, but I actually found a moleskin one that I use. Looks like that. Uh, so it's a month on two pages, which I find really useful for scheduling and working out what I'm going to do. And um, I don't colour code particularly. I don't, you know, I don't write notes in colour coding. And this is for this, and this is for that. Um, but anything that's orange, highlighted in orange, is to do with classes. Uh, and anything that's in pink or highlighted in pink is to do with YouTube or red. Anything red or highlighted or, you know, anything like that, all that is, that's um, YouTube stuff. 
And then anything in yellow is that's for things that I absolutely must not forget. Um, not just like, oh, don't forget to go to the dentist. This is like, do your tax return today or you get fined <laughs> kind of stuff, you know. Um, so that, you know, this works for me and I, I do like it, but I've kind of outgrown it a bit and I'm finding that I've got bits that are floating around and I've had to put tabs to organise my notes um, because I've got a huge section for classes at the back here, which is all... Um, you know, all my class notes and everything. And you can imagine, prepping for classes, there's so much to write down. Even just the class ideas, there's so much to write down. Um, and I'm, I've been kind of frustrated for a while that I didn't... I had all this paper, but it wasn't in the right place for me to be able to write things in. And You know, because you have your month on two pages, and then you've got a notes page for the month, and then you've got another month on two pages. And ideally what I'd like is to have a month on two pages and then be able to put as many notes in here as I want and then move those notes to August if they're still relevant. Um, I obviously can't do that with a, a bound book. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think of my file of facts, but I didn't. And then Courtney's recently got into the file of facts community and she's got herself a Molden, which apparently is a very popular one now. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember what my original one was. I had it like... I had it just after I left university, so it would have been... I left university in 94, so it would have been about 96, 97, and it was brand new. It was one of the ones that came out that year. Um, and later on I bought a little pocket one, because I always had the A5 desktop ones, because I don't like carrying things around with me. And I got a little pocket one to use just for notes and, and out and about stuff. Um, and I don't remember what that one was, but... Um, of course my... I kept all my bits. I've always kept my bits because you just do, okay? Filofaxes will understand. You just do. You don't throw them out. You just keep them. Um, and somewhere I've got my pocket one. I think it's actually in my handbag, which I don't use very often, which is why I'm not sure where it is. Um, but my A5 one, I've got all the inserts and tabs and everything, but I haven't got the actual Filofax fell apart, so I had to throw it out. Um, and I was going to see if I could perhaps get one online I thought maybe I could get one on eBay cheap rather than having to buy a brand new one because just the idea of spending that much money on something makes me shudder I, I have better things to spend that much money on um, that's not you know, to say anything against people who, who save up and buy things like that but you know, if I wanted to save up for something there's other things I would want to save up for that are way up the list but I really need to get organised and this is not working for me anymore um, because apart from anything else it's only July and it's almost full I've got about three spare pages in it <laughs> um, so yeah I need to I, I was going to go on um, eBay and see if I could find one uh, just a, a A5 cover that somebody was getting rid of without having to spend all the, buy the inserts and everything because I've already got them uh, and then all I need is my month to view for the year, which is fairly cheap. You can buy them for about £2.50 online. Um, and I was mentioned it to my mum the other day, and I was like, I can't believe all this time I said I needed to get organised. And, you know, none of you ever suggested, why don't you go back to your file of facts? Because my mum and dad are file of facts. Everything goes in the file of facts. Um, and I, I happened to mention that I was going to have to get a, an A5 one, um, because mine had fallen apart and my mum said oh I think we've got a spare one here um, because uh, at one point my mum and dad used to keep one each my mum kept one for the family and my dad kept one for work and for travel and family trips and things and my mum kept one for like our school stuff and all that kind of thing um, obviously since me and my sister don't live at home anymore uh, they don't really have to keep tabs on us so they really only have themselves to, to worry about and they do have a lot going on but they kind of share one um, but um, yeah my mum said oh I think we've got one here so she's going to have a look and see if she can find it and hopefully that means I won't have to spend money getting a new one I'll be able to just use that one until such time as I can find one that I, I really like or that suits my needs or whatever 
I don't know. My my mum has quite is quite organised, so it's a very it's a very strong possibility that um, if it's hers that I'll like it. It'll just be a hideous colour. Um, and my dad is also very much like me. So if it's my dad's, then it'll be perfect. <laughs> it'll be exactly what I need. Um, so we'll wait and see. Hopefully she'll be able to find it and uh, I'll be able to get organised and then I'll show you what I've done. So that'll be fun. Um, and I have had a few people um, ask me previously on videos, you know, how do you plan what you're going to do and how do you organise stuff. So um, what I think I'll do is do a separate one on this, uh, on my planner as it is at the moment. Um, because I showed you my planner last year, I think, and a lot of I had a very positive response from it. A lot of people took some ideas from that, um, and that was a homemade one. That was a DIY one, and that was what got me back into thinking. Hang on a minute, I think I need a proper planner here because this isn't working either. Um, and now I've gone a step further, and I actually think I need to go back to my file effects system because I'm very busy. I've got a lot to do. Um, so yeah, I'll do a separate video on this and show you how I organise stuff. Um, it's a very simple system. I don't I don't colour coordinate and, and you know all that. But I think it'd be interesting to show you what I do now versus what I'll do once I get my file fact system back. Um, because I'll be able to separate things out, which means they're separate out in my head, which makes much more sense. So yeah, that's my Monday. Sitting organising this, working out what I'm gonna do. I'm also rendering videos and uploading videos and catching up on my YouTube videos. I don't like Mondays, so Mondays is very much my day for just chilling and organising and getting stuff sorted and ready for what I need to do tomorrow. Because Mondays suck. <laughs> just do. Even when you work from home, Mondays suck. They really do. So, yeah, nice and chilled. You can see it's very sunny here today. It's like 70, I think it's 72 degrees at the moment, which is quite nice. It's quite pleasant in the shade. Um, in about, at about, it's 10 to 2 now. At about 3 or 4 o'clock, I'll have to move inside for an hour or so while the sun comes around this way because where I'm sitting now will be really sunny and it will be too hot for me to sit in and I'll get burnt. So um, I've been out here since 7 o'clock this morning because it was nice and cool. Just chilling and doing my bits and catching up on stuff, having my breakfast, playing with the girls um, and then I'll take my break for lunch sort of between two and four or five depending on how long it takes the sun to go round. Obviously that doesn't make as much sense. It did. The sun goes round at the same pace every day but um, depending on whether it's cloudy or not is what I mean depending on how sunny it is. Although my flatmate's put her washing out, so that might give me a bit more um, shade than I normally get. So I might be back out here a little bit earlier than normal, which would be cool. So, yeah. That's my Monday. Tomorrow I'm working on my project for Summerlong. July we're doing a big project. Um, if you're interested in joining Summer Long, yes, you can still join. Um, just go to my website, uh, romany.org.uk, and there's information on there on how to join up. Um, it's still available, and you can backtrack and do the other months later on if you want to, and start with July, whatever you want to do. Uh, don't forget to go to my previous video and sign up for the giveaway. Um, if you if you can't find the link, it's actually the Rafflecopter link in the description on my July 2nd vlog, which will probably be the one before this, uploading-wise, if not title-wise, because the others I need to render. I actually may have one on here in between. I, I can't remember. I've slept since then, and it's been really hot. But it's lovely. I'm, I'm enjoying it being hot. For a change. I don't normally do well in the heat, but it is actually really nice for it to be sunny. Yay! <laughs> we haven't had sunshine in the UK for so long. We just our summers have been really naff since about since about 2006 actually. <laughs> 2006 we had a massive heat wave and a like an Indian summer. It was really hot right the way through to September. Um, 
and ever since then it's been wet and cold and rainy except for like a week or so in March where it'll be hot and then we'll get snow in April or something ridiculous um, but this this year it's yeah this started on Wednesday last week and it's still going and it's still listed for the whole of this week and into next week so that'll be nice two weeks of glorious sunshine and then I'll be done with summer and I'll be like right bring me winter back because that's how I am <laughs> ah, anyway I'm going to get back to my planning and uh, I will be back shortly with another vlog but it may not be tomorrow so it might be another day because I'm out of order these things happen, you get used to it bye <laughs>